Another one interesting thing to know, it's about the destructive and non-destructive operations. Uh, for the ones that don't know yet what are operations, well, they are placed in here. At least they are, I don't think if, I mean, I don't know if they are by default placed there. If not, watch the beginning of the tutorial of this video and, and you will see how to place them in there and find them. So what these uh, operations do, I'm going to just show you here. I have my circle and my, and my rectangle. What these operations do is just, they allow you to combine, divide, subtract um, different shapes. Like for example, I just have these two layers and I click add. So both of them became one, as you can see in here. Let's go back and show you, for example, subtract. So what it does, the one that is placed on top, as you can see in here, is gonna cut over the other, okay? Next one is going to be intersect, so they get intersected. This one divides, okay, so you cannot see it unless I just go like this and you're just kind of like cropping, okay? And the last one would be this one, which is, let's just go back totally and I see it better. Just grab the two of them and what we do here is combining both of them, okay? So what I wanted to say is that, that by default, Affinity Designer is going to, out of these two shapes, if we click, for example, subtract, it's going to create one, okay? This is called destructive Boolean operation. What you need to know is that there's no going back from here. I mean, if you're drawing whatever the thing is and you apply destruct, destructive operations, this is what you have. There's no way back. But there's still another one possibility, which would be clicking on both and before applying the operation, you click Alt. So, for example, if now I just go and apply a subtract, you see the same shape we saw before, but right now you see here this arrow, that means it's keeping both of the shapes in such a way that if I just, you know, go like, oh, go, okay, this is not what I wanted. Um, I want to tweak it. I want to, for example, make it like, you know, different, see, move it around, whatever, or I just simply want to do it different. I want to, I don't know, I want to change this shape and, 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 and use another one like this one. Okay. There's always going back with this way. Okay. So again, I click out and then apply the, the Boolean like so. Okay. So just so you know, we have destructive by default and non-destructive by clicking Alt.